As we mentioned earlier, uh, we'll be talking a little bit about bringing awareness to menstrual cups. It's something I've never heard about before. And uh, generally, people believe that there are only two options out there, pads or tampons, when there is actually a third option called menstrual cups, and it is said to be the most sustainable of them all. According to Avanel Sahadi, she's an accountant and office manager working at Combined Engineering, and she's here to tell us all about these menstrual cups. Good morning and welcome. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. So, okay. It's a so, pleasure having you on. We're very, uh, very interested to find out a little bit about these. Uh, but before we, we begin, I'd like to find out a little bit more about that company, Generation Enterprise Distributors Limited. Okay, so we started this company approximately two years ago because I discovered a menstrual cups. I mean, previously I had never heard of it, just like you. So I was so surprised that something like this is out there. And so what the menstrual, well, Generation Enterprises, is it? the slogan is adding value to generation. So we're looking for products that actually add value to our society. And the thing about Ruby, I mean, there are a lot of menstrual cups out there, but the thing about Ruby is that they donate to girls in need. So for every purchase, is an automatic donation to a girl in East Africa. I mean, thus far we have donated over 50,000, actually, to girls through our, um, like, Femme International, our social partners, I would say, like Femme International, Dreams, and Sour. But, so the menstrual cup, this is what it looks like. And it's called a ruby cup. Yes, this is a ruby cup. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two sizes, the small and the medium. Mm -hmm. Small is really for light days, and the medium for, like, heavier days. Okay. Um, how it's used, it's, in, it's worn in a similar fashion as a tampon, so it's inserted. It can last up for up to 12 hours because it holds three times the capacity of a super tampon. Okay. Yeah, so it makes, which, I mean, if you think about, on, if you're going to work, you have to stock your handbag with either tampons or sanitary pads, and you have to dash to the bathroom every two to three hours to make a change. I mean, this... This is all you'll be, I mean, it will be inserted. I mean, you don't even have to walk with anything. So, I mean, when you're traveling, you travel light. Mm. I'm very, a, a little bit um, confused as okay. well. How does it work? How do you insert okay. it and then? So, this is this is not inserting just like this. You have to fold it into a C. When it goes in, it actually pops open and creates the seal. You check the base of the cup to ensure that there's no kinks. So, and if they are kings, if they are kings, you just pull and push, just like a little pull and push. So, it will actually create the seal. This stem here is mm -hmm. adjustable. So, depending when you use the cup, you'll actually know if you have a high cervix or a low cervix. So, it depends on how far it goes in, you would need to trim the stem so that you won't get irritation because this, this stem shouldn't be sticking out. Mm -hmm. um, I remember the first time that I used it, I mean, mm -hmm. I thought I was feeling it. I was like, It's uncomfortable? No, it's not. You see, that's the thing, when I use it, because it was new to me as well, when I use it, I mean, within a minute, I'm thinking, is this, this I'm feeling this, oh my gosh, and then five minutes later, I, I couldn't, I didn't remember it, so I realized, okay, it was a mind thing, mm -hmm. you know, so it is super comfortable. Once it's there, you don't feel a thing. So is it as easy as using as a tampon? It is easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say some people get, they get accustomed to it really quickly, um, some people could take two to three cycles to get fully accustomed to it because it's something new, mm -hmm. you know. It's new. Yeah, it's, well, it's new to Trinidad. Okay. And it's new, it was new to you, it was new to me two years ago, but it's been around since 19, the 1930s. So has it been gaining some momentum? It Trinidad? has, it has been gaining some momentum. I mean, the last sale I had, I mean, the girl, she told me, um, this is so liberating. And I'm like, I feel like that because, I mean, I didn't even have to tell her, listen, it's like being emancipated from traditional products. <laughs> Seriously, it is. I mean, because I mean, think about it. You don't have to take off that dirty sanitary pad, throw it away. You don't have to see those things. You so know? then what are you seeing with this and how do you clean it? Okay, you change it twice a day. Mm -hmm. You have to remove, you need to pinch the base to break the seal. Mm -hmm. But I would say don't ever go looking for it. Just use your muscle, bring it down. It will come to the edge, pinch the base, empty. Rinse. <laughs> you just said empty. Rinse. As it's, it's so easy. It's in, yeah, it is. It really is. Because, I mean, it's twice a day, depending on your flow. Mm. It can be longer. To where you, you so, you so mean like regular. So, on the morning, when you get up, you change it. 
Mm. You could go to work, you come back at, at night, you take it out, change it in the bathroom or in the restroom. It's so how do you sanitize it? Once a month, you must sanitize it in boiling water. Mm -hmm. We also sell the Sally Ruby Clean, that's what they call it. You, you have to rinse this first, I mean with mild soap and water. And then you place it in the sanitizer, fill it three quarter full, and then you put it in the microwave for five minutes. Yeah. You're putting that in the microwave? Inside of the sanitizer with water. Oh, so you're providing sanitizer, yes. as you said, as yes, well. Yes, we do. It's called the Ruby Clean. So apart from the, the, the benefits in terms of the convenience of it, are there any other sort of benefits? Yes, there is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Health, health-wise, this is free from toxins. Okay. It's, even if you have a latex allergy, you can use the cup. Okay. It's no side effects whatsoever. It's made from 100% medical grade silicone. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. also, it's a cost benefit. I mean, when you think of stocking up um, traditional products, let's yeah. say you spend $50 per cycle. In a year, we have approximately 13 cycles because it's 52 weeks. So 50 times 13 is $650. In 10 years, that's $6,500. The cup is $350. Okay. So you get return on investment within less than a year. So what do you get with the cup? Do you get all the products get, to sanitize and stuff? You get the instruction booklet. Mm -hmm. Well, this is how it is packaged completely, right? And it comes in different colors, like clear. <laughs> <laughs> clear, blue, pink, red, you know. Well, yeah, and purple. Purple. And this is the bag that you store it in between okay. cycles. And this is what you go with when you're traveling, just this. Right. Yeah. Uh, how, how popular is it in other places of the world, in well, the world, actually? In East Africa, it's gaining a lot of popularity because, I mean, as I said, we, it's a buy one, give one. So you donate one to a girl in need, and over 50,000 girls have received their cup, and it has assisted them in staying in school because traditionally yeah. they can't afford the disposable products, mm -hmm. and they would miss up to 20% of the school year on their cycle. How large is the sanitizing liquid? Oh, it's, um, no, it's not a liquid. It's actually a container. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's so actually... You put it in a container to, to it's be like sanitized. It's like a container. It's made also from this material. Mm -hmm. It can withstand up to 230 degrees Celsius. So. So yeah. you can use that forever? You, you don't can need use that to forever, yeah. Oh, so you provide them with the girls? Yeah. So there, there are packages yeah. with the Ruby Cup and the Ruby Clean, okay. with all of this, even the Ruby Kegel, you know, everything. All right. Yeah. So you have a, that's a Ruby, is it a Kegel trainer? Yes, this is it, yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. What is this exactly? So the Ruby Kegel trainer is a pelvic floor muscle, muscle exerciser. Mm -hmm. So from the time a woman's hymen is broken, gravity actually acts to weaken the muscle. It is, is exacerbated by giving birth, constipation, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. But this actually strengthens the muscle. Not only does it strengthen the muscle, it would also prevent or even eliminate incontinence. Incontinence is where you can leak or discharge urine if you cough, sneeze, laugh. Okay. This, there is something you can do about it. Okay. You can train the muscle. How does it work? So this is, it's a five minute, I'm gonna say five to 10 minute exercise you do. You insert the ball and you contract. That's what a Kegel exercise is. You contract the muscle for about 10 seconds and then you release for 10 seconds. You repeat that about 10 times, like three sets in total. The, I mean, I have heard from people saying, okay, but I do Kegel exercises. I mean, why do you exercise with a weight as opposed to doing exercises like that okay because you want to get results yeah right so that's why you use the kegel uh, how popular is that this has been not as popular as the cup because yeah. it's like these are new to the yes, caribbean yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so yeah it's gaining popularity i yeah. would say okay and how but affordable is it the kegel is 250 dollars, and of course this lasts for even longer than the cup okay yeah like um, say 10 15 years what about a particular age group for the Cup? Yeah. Well, I actually thought, you know, maybe the young people would, not would have been yeah. the most, well, I would say, accepted to this, but... It's more for the older, you see? No, no, no. But both, both age groups actually mm. like it. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess the convenience of it. Yeah, I was surprised because I, mean, I was thinking maybe it was more of a young crowd, but no, it's not. Okay. And um, should you get a prescription for something like that? No, no, no. 
you don't need a prescription. Okay. I mean, gynecologists do recommend it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where can we get it? You can um, call the office, mm -hmm. my office, 622-9933. What's the name of your company again? Um, well, it's Combined Engineering and Generation Enterprise. We're located in the same place. Mm -hmm. That's um, number nine, Bombay Street, St. James, and the office number is 622-9933. We're actually also on Facebook, Join the Ruby Revolution. And Join the Ruby Revolution. Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> and Instagram as well. What led to this? Well, I was looking for some, I was fed up of sanitary pads, really. I don't like them. I mean, I don't like tampons either, mm -hmm. but I really do love this. <laughs> so you just went searching. How did you I find was, it? I was looking for something different, something yeah. sustainable, mm -hmm. and I just stumbled across it. And you started to bring it down. And yeah, and then I contacted the company, and they said, okay, well, we don't have a distributor in the Caribbean, so we will give you the distributorship. Yeah. Are there any sort of side effects? No, there's no side effects. At all. Okay, great. Well, closing comments. What would you like to say to those looking on, wondering if they should uh, if invest they should try in this? It, I would say yes, do. Because, I mean, when you use it, I mean, at first, if people are like adverse. They don't know, okay, well, what is this? But when you do use it, you actually fall in love with it. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I, everyone that I have sold to would say, I, I'm not going back to pads. Because yeah, it's so convenient. Right. And then, of course, we have the buy one, give one program. Mm -hmm. So you actually Tell us a little help. bit more about that one. So when you purchase one, mm -hmm. you donate one to a girl in need. We have started in East Africa, in Nigeria, some parts of um, India, and that, the Asian continent. Even for, the la for Harvey, Hurricane Harvey, yes. we did some donations too. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, yeah, thank inform you so much us for about me. this. It's a pleasure having you on. So we've been chatting with Avanel Sahadeh. She's an accountant and office manager working at Combined Engineering. She was just talking to us about some products here, the Ruby Cup and uh, the Kegel Trainer, as well as the Cherry Stone Pillow. And um, we didn't get to talk about it, but... The cherry stone pillow, well, we have a, a little time. W oh. What exactly is it? Okay, so it's made from organic cherry stones and organic cotton. Mm -hmm. Made by a company called Herbalind in Germany. They employ people with disabilities to actually make the pillow. And this is for sore muscles, painful, like, menstrual cramps, any sort of pain. But how do you use it? This is heated, like, for... You start with 30 seconds in your microwave, okay. depending on what the use is, and you would know how hot it is for your body, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. you, you do that wherever you're getting pain, if it's your neck, your back, okay. wherever, you just put it on, and you get relief. And uh, how affordable is this? This is affordable as well. This one is $275. right. I mean, it lasts just as long as all these products. Great. So it's a one-time invest. It's, a, it's an investment, but I mean, you have it for almost 10, 15 years. Great, wonderful. Once Thank cared so for much. properly, of course. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Ms. Avanel Sahadeu. We take a short break, a lot more when we return. Stay tuned.